Welcome, fellow Mooncats. This is an Earth Elemental reading for the year of 2023. We're going to take a overall view of the entire year to see what we can expect uh, coming up ahead. Uh, it has been a little while since I've posted, but I have been doing some work in the background and I am going to begin doing personal readings. And so I'm proud to announce the start of uh, personal readings, uh, which are available now through my Calendly site. And I'm posting that link in the description below. So if you're interested in um, getting a personal reading, go ahead and click on that link and it'll give you all the information that you need to go from there. So even though I'm doing personal readings, I will never approach you directly. I will only take readings through that Calendly link. I am not on any other social media platform. So please um, be aware of any scammers that might be out there. Okay, so for the year of 2023, and for those of you associated with the Earth Element, let's go ahead and begin your reading. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to draw the first card as an overall theme for the entire year, a guiding card to the reading. Let's take a look at what comes forth for the Earth Element in the year of 2023. Okay. We have the card of suspension. This would be like the hanged man in the traditional tarot. And that's going to be the card of the overall year. This is going, this means that this year is an important time to think about the goals of your life. Um, this is a good time to reflect on what are you going into, um, what do you want out of your life in the next 5, 10, 15 years? A difficult question to consider sometimes, um, but this year will be an important time to reflect on that and reflect on the choices that you're making, the goals you're currently working on. Um, do you want to continue with that path or perhaps make a new, a change to go in a new direction? The first card I'm going to pull now will be for the month of January, a theme for the month of January. And I'm going to pull one card for each month of the year. Okay. Got nine of spells. February. February is the five of visions. Five, nine, five. March. Month of March. April, I want to do a 4 by 3 pattern and I'm not sure if we're going to fit that in the camera here. Let's see, maybe a little bit more over, oh, we're out of space. <laughs> oh. There is never quite enough room. Okay. April of 2023. So by the time we've created the map of the 12 months, then what we'll have is a guide through the year ahead to help you get the most out of it the most out of the energies that are going to be available to you during this year. Let's look at May. Whoa, that one jumped. 
Oh my, okay. June. And now what we can do is also cross-reference when we lay out this map and take a look at um, patterns that are emerging. Looking for the month of June. July. August. All right. August had some difficult difficulty coming out. It came out sideways. So we're going to need to consider that as we look at that card. And once these are shuffled, I'm going to see if I can move the camera to get you a better view. Oh, that one came right out. Okay. September. September. Okay, that's confusing. I think we have our October here. November. And December. Okay, so there's our main tarot for the year, and I'm going to see if I can get a better angle from the camera. Okay, so let's take a look at the influence of the Earth element over the coming year. And what I'm seeing here is a pathway uh, that goes through some challenges and difficulties, but ultimately this is a, a very positive year. The Hanged Man is here because there's going to be points of time uh, in the year ahead, where you are coming up against challenges and even deceitful people. And you're going to need to be patient in the decisions that you make and to use careful consideration uh, and make sure that you're following your intuition so as to gain the correct perspective uh, going forward. Okay, so January starts out feeling very powerful, very strong with this Nine of Spells card. Now, in the Nine of Spells card, she is extremely independent, powerful, and self-assured. Uh, her power is in full force. 
So we see her in the dark of the forest and we can see those eyes in the background. I hope they're coming through clearly for you as well. You can see the eyes peering out from the forest. She has no fear because her power is strong enough that she can protect herself. She has the strength to be completely independent. But notice to where the strength is coming from, because if you look at her feet, you'll see that they are bare. And that means, or that indicates here, her deeply rooted connection into the earth energy. Now, if I can show you the bottom of the card, you can see um, what is what appears to be a root system in the ground. Uh, so her feet are con energetically connected to that root system. Now the root system of trees can go on for many, uh, many square miles. And so the trees uh, in that way have communion. And this isn't just um, the energy of this spot, but of the entire forest, and through that, the entire earth. So she is very strong in her power. So we're starting the year in January um, feeling empowered, uh, being strongly connected to our spiritual um, energies and abilities. But what happens going into February is maybe we're starting to lose sight of the path that we're meant to be on a little bit. Um, so we have this card for February, which is the Five of Visions, where we see the princess has lost the golden ball she's been playing with. That golden ball, I think of it like the um, um, the seeker in Harry Potter has to catch the snitch. So this makes me think of the snitch. Uh, she needs to, to keep hold of that golden ball or that ultimate purpose meaning and purpose to her life. Well, it's, she's temporarily lost it, but the, to, to understand that this is a temporary setback. This is not a permanent one, but that's looking, meaning that in February may come some kind of challenge or an obstacle to the path that you're, you're on. No need to worry though, because you're coming out of that. Um, again, feeling that with the star power of the starlight card, feeling that divine connection in a powerful way. So you are able to overcome these challenges. Um, again, referencing our hanged man, which is the overall energy of this year. Uh, when you're coming against challenges or misdirections, uh, reflection and contemplation, making careful choices, that's the best way to find your correct way forward. Uh, so when we come into the month of April, then we're looking at perhaps a challenge that comes in the form of a deceitful person. Okay, and so this is a distraction that threatens to take you off of the, off of the path. Um, and there's just a warning to be aware of that and to follow your intuition to overcome that. And in overcoming that, well, what follows is finding your soul tribe. So if you can recognize who or what is false, um, the false individuals in your life, then that is also going to bring you into connection with your true soul tribe, which means those that you can collaborate with in a positive way and cre create along your path together. This may even be a divine romantic connection that you find um, if that is part of your story or part of your contract for life. As you come into the influence of your soul tribe and you're reconnecting to your divine self, 
then a lot of good things are happening for you following that. Um, there is the Huntsman card. The Huntsman is um, somewhat ironically a protector of the innocent creatures of the forest, a powerful protector of those creatures. So you're looking at divine protection. Um, this is a card of justice. So this is the card of um, making sure the scales are balanced, that everything comes out fairly, um, that you cannot be mistreated or taken advantage of. So as you strengthen your connection to the divine, the divine is better able to protect you. And then what follows that most beautifully um, as we're coming into the next card, this one is a wish come true. And so this is the month of July. This is the month of July and this is a card of um so sorry about my cat hold on hold on okay that was my cat and i think he's calmed down a bit so in the month of july you're looking at a wish come true so through the struggles there is divine support there for you and holding on and holding out you're going to see your wish come true the manifestation of what you're reaching for uh, it, it comes about in the month of July <laughs> and so with that manifestation that means that uh, this would this would be like the page of coins this child of booms card and so you're you're in um in a state of abundance and in a state of um, in a state of income income like you have not known before and so this page is learning um, how best to to manage the abundance that's there and um, that is what you'll be doing uh, in the month of August, just learning, like, oh my gosh, I have all this wonderful good stuff, and now, oh, well, it's wonderful and it's good, but I, I gotta figure out how to manage all of this good stuff coming in, uh, because that is necessary to do it. And so, you're going to find, um, that you are challenged, uh, during that time. Uh, it, it's, it is, um, this Child of Challenges card shows a person who is able to confront the challenges that they are faced with and overcome them. And so this is, uh, I see this as a continuance of a story here where you're learning how to take on more responsibility and learning how to manage that responsibility. Now, it's been a lot, and it starts to become a bit overwhelming. And so you see this for a Visions card. You might start to feel a little dissatisfied uh, with your path, which can happen no matter what your purpose is or what work you do. Um, from time to time, we can become disenchanted with it, especially as we've gone through a lot of challenges that may have been testing us in new ways. And so with the four of visions, you are, uh, you may begin to feel that stress and that pressure. And that's coming in around the time of um, uh, October. So around the time of October, you might be feeling that pressure and that stress. And then we see that if nothing is done about that, then come the month of November, um, it, it increases to the point where she's run up a tree. <laughs> and you can see the wolves at the bottom uh, barking at her. So the indication here is simply that you may need to make a way or find a way to just take a break from it, a brief uh, vacation from the, the work that you're doing so that you can rejuvenate. And so we see that here um, 
finally in December, this Weaver of Boons. Uh, don't forget the support that you have in your uh, soul family because this is a very motherly energy and we see a return. We see a return here because once again, we have this very powerful earth energy, but this one also standing barefoot on the ground um, is surrounded by more of like the empress, uh, the abundant garden, the, the sense of peace and sustainability, the sense of having all that you need and being in a state of comfort and relaxation because um, you've reached that point of stability. So a wish is coming true. Something that you've been building on, working on, uh, that's going to go through some challenges, but you're going to succeed over those challenges and you're going to actually see it manifest this year around the time of July. And of course, when that finally happens, you're taking on a new uh, responsibility and that new responsibility is going to challenge you to learn how to manage uh, what you have manifested and to learn how to take that on a greater level of re responsibility than you may have previously had in your life. And so that's going to be a little challenging, a little exhausting, but once you get your, your footing, you're going to find yourself in this very secure and abundant position where you're feeling very content, very happy, and very well off in life. Okay, so that um, is the projection of what is coming in up in the year. I'm also going to reach out for any advice that um, may be there for you. So I'd like to pull the oracle cards out and just look for some nice advice for you in the coming year, uh, helping you along the way. Now, I would draw your attention again one more time. I'm actually going to pull this card forward here. One more time to our theme, our overall theme to the whole experience of the year is that hanged man. So any time that you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed or you're not sure what to do next or who to trust, any time you come across that, it's time to retreat a little bit, take some time to reflect, consider all the possibilities, and if you can approach it from a calm state, uh, then you will be able to sense the correct action to take. Okay, let's see if the Forest Fae have any suggestions for the year ahead. So those guided by the element of earth in the year of 2023, what advice should they follow for the coming year? What would be helpful to them as they go down this pathway? All right. So we have here green witch. Connect to the spirits and energy of your local landscape. Seek enchantment. Okay, so that is beautiful for an earth soul exactly what you may need to do um, when you start to feel stressed or overwhelmed. Uh, that's the perfect way to embody that hanged man energy is take a quick retreat into nature. Uh, that, that if you are an earth soul, then that quick trip into nature just feeds your soul and it just nurtures you. And so go walk among the trees or find your wonderful nature spot and just sit in that for a while and just take that in. And absolutely, um, that will recharge you. Okay. 
The next piece of advice is the Fairy Harper, which says, find the words to long forgotten songs and dance to the music in your soul. Okay, so that makes me think of the energy, like if you, I don't know, does anyone listen to the radio anymore? If you're listening to the radio and up comes a song that you haven't heard in years that you used to love to sing along with or dance to, and it comes on the radio and whatever mood you were in before that moment, all of a sudden you're boosted up with this powerful energy and wanting to sing out and wanting to dance along. And that is the kind of energy that um, you will find. <coughs> so in the coming year, there are these moments of powerful divine connection. And when <coughs> you experience those moments, it's going to be like that boost of energy that you get. <coughs> It's going to be like that boost of energy that you get from an old favorite song. <coughs> okay. My Earth Soul Moon Cats, I thank you for watching. I'm going to have to go tend to my cat. This concludes the reading for the Earth Souls of the Moon Cat family. And I just want to say thank you again for watching. I'll look for the information down below if you would like to get a personal reading. And in the meantime, if you have found this to be valuable, uh, please help my channel to grow. And go ahead and click on that like button and uh, subscribe if you would like future messages. Thank you again for watching. And I will catch you in another video.